A new study found walking a minimum of 4,000 steps a day significantly reduces your risk of an early death, proving more is better when it comes to walking. Haley Hernandez is here with a local cardiologist to share more. Good morning, Haley. Hey, good morning, Zach. So that's right. The study found a minimum of 4,000 steps a day will help, but really the study found that anything below 5,000 steps is considered a sedentary lifestyle. I'm joined by Dr. Wahaj Aman, interventional cardiologist with UT Health Houston and Memorial Herman. Good morning, Dr. Aman. Thank you so, so much for having me. I hear that this is a passion of yours. That's yes, why I was is. excited to be able to get you on the show this morning because for years, I mean, I, I feel like ever since it became popular to wear an Apple Watch, we've been hearing that 10,000 steps a day is the goal. Right. So why dramatically reduce the amount that we should be aiming for? So this is a landmark study. They looked at 200,000 patients uh, over seven years, about 17 studies that they pulled together. And they found out that yes, 10,000 is great, but really even if you do 5,000 steps or if you're going even more than 4,000 steps, you have a, a chance of re reducing you know, your risk of dying. And as much as increasing your uh, steps by 1,000, you decrease the risk of dying by 15 percent. That is oh, that wow. incredible. Yeah, it really is. I mean, we do know that exercise, of course, is important. Getting your heart rate up is important. That's all good for your heart health. But what is the why just the step count alone? Should we be focusing on that? So what it is is, you know, uh, the American Heart uh, Association recommends 150 minutes of moderate intensity a week, but not everybody has the time or right. can are in the physical capacity to do that. Every Most single people day. Can, exactly. Yeah. Most people can walk, you know. And so this is just a huge encouragement to everybody. You know, you don't have to be a star athlete. You just have to start walking and you will see benefits. I know, you know, I'll be honest because I was uh, I was an athlete for most of my life. And so as I'm getting into adulthood and it's not easy to find the time and maybe you've got more aches and pains now, um, you know, I, I just always diminish the idea that walking was a good exercise, but it truly is. It truly is. It is. It, is, it can be transformational if you just stick with it. Uh, and like I said, you know, the bar is so low, it's 4,000 steps. You can, you know, start there and slowly and incrementally make changes. And before you know it, you're seeing all these health benefits. Yeah, well, we are ignoring one elephant in the room, which is that it is scorching hot outside. Yes, it is. So what can we do if we don't, if we don't really want to get outside or if we it maybe shouldn't because of the right. heat? So now portable treadmills are are fantastic. You know, you put one right in front of your TV when you're done watching your favorite episode. Oh, that's a good idea. Put it back under the table. Uh, but, you know, I have my uh, treadmill remote and my TV remote, and I just go hand in hand. You're kidding. You really <laughs> yeah, do that? I do that. In your own After a busy room? clinic, absolutely. You know, everybody wants you. to kick back, uh, watch your favorite episode. And yeah, just 20, 30 minutes, and you've got your steps in. Yeah, and for somebody who's on their feet all day, I'm surprised. Do you yeah. find that you don't get enough steps in? I do get a lot of steps, but, you know, you, they, this study looked at up to 20,000 steps. And even up to 20,000 steps, they're saying the benefits just keep getting better and better. So keep going. The more you can the do, more the you better. Do. Is there a certain pace that we're supposed to be walking? You know, honestly, uh, just if you're starting out walking uh, at your regular pace is great. Slowly with time, you can always, you know, make uh, incremental changes towards getting faster and then even jogging in, uh, later. But starting from somewhere, just start at your regular pace. So maybe just do what you can do, what your body can tolerate exactly. for now. Yeah, exactly. and hopefully that weather gets a little bit cooler yes. soon. That will help. Um, all right, Dr. Aman, is there anything else that you want, would like to add before I let you go? You know, the, again, passion of mine. Every patient who comes to my clinic, I, I tell them all the time, start walking. And you will feel, you know, you won't see it in the next week, but in the next month, the next year, your body's going to thank you. It's a slower exercise, so right. it might take slower to see results. Right. But, but you will see results. Your, your life expectancy exactly. depends on it. It, it. it doesn't get more clear than that. Yeah. All right, Dr. Aman, coming here all the way from Katie, right? Yes, I am. Thank you so much for joining me live in studio. I appreciate having Such you. Such a pleasure. Especially since this is a passion of yours. I really, really appreciate you being Thank here. You.